Okay. That's not bad. Could you please pass me that belt cleaning abrasive stuff? Uh, obviously, I concentrated. Thank you very much, sir. I concentrated in one um, area of the belt. And uh, yeah, that was uh, probably not necessarily a good idea, but we were focusing the camera on that area. Now, these belt cleaners work best when, uh, when the machine is running. I am not going to open this while it's running and, and do that, because that just seems a bit dangerous to me. Um, it's held in place and it, it works fine. For the purposes of this video though, I am going to take this sandpaper off and see what the changing process is like, because that is what I hated about the other machine. The process of changing the sandpaper on our old machine was nightmarish and, uh, and not fun. This fairing's got a little metal uh, grid to stop s large particles going through. Fair enough. I suppose that happens when the sandpaper uh, disintegrates. Okay, well, we're gonna figure out how to do this and, uh, and then film it. Ooh, ooh, ooh look at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's instructions. Uh, Tough tool. Take up fasten the tool. Tough tool. Okay, tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, coarse grit, I think it's 60 or an 80 grit maybe, and I'm going to put on the finest grit that comes with the machine. They've sent the Jet factory tapered abrasives ready to wrap, so up to 120 grit. And uh, yeah, essentially, they've pre-tapered the ends for us, which is quite cool. And you can see that it's, uh, it's cloth-backed material, which is really, really important. Trying to use normal sandpaper is not advisable. Anyway, I'm going to read some instructions. And instructions? Instructions, and you don't need to watch that. Okay, this is a cool little machine, or jig. This is the end that you tighten uh, <laughs> the paper with, and it's a bit, a bit strange, really, uh, because you can't really see what's going on. Let me. Anyway, there's a little hole in here, and you fit this in, which I can't do now. I have practiced this. There we go. And you pull it towards yourself and that pulls a spring up here. Uh, the funny warning is always remove tough tool from machine. Uh, that's a very good warning. This is mild, mild steel and it's already getting dented. So, uh, well, anyway, they've built this machine to a price point and uh, as far as I can tell, it's actually really, really good so far. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let me remove the tough tool so I can get access. This is a little spring-loaded clip in there. This drum is not solid, so it might deform over time. I don't think it will, though. And uh, you basically pull the clip back, put the sandpaper in, and that edge lines up with the edge of the tool. Oh, my phone is on. I need to turn my phone off. Naughty, naughty, naughty. And then it's just a case of uh, feeding it on. This is strangely fun. Okay, I've got a little bit of a bump here, so I'm just going to loosen the clip, flatten, flatten that out. Yeah, that seems okay. Yes, this is fun. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> Obviously, if you're using your own sandpaper, and I've bought some, uh, some other paper from uh, Merca, 
that, to, to use on this machine. You're going to have to keep one of these rolls as a template for when you cut it down. Okay. So far, relatively painless. Now, let's try and get this thing in here. Now, I'm also fighting with the fact that I've got a camera here. Thank you, Daniel. It's really awkward. There we go. Okay, so that lifts up on there. And then you feed the paper in. Too much of a curve on that end. There we go. So I fed the paper in, and then it's just a case of loosening that off. Actually, with a little bit of practice, <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of practice, I am confident that's going to be pretty awesome. That is nice and solid. Uh, the paper, paper stretches, and as it stretches, it becomes loose. And if it becomes too loose, you will end up ripping it. And that is, that's a problem. Uh, what, what I really want, what I really, really, really want is a, a felder, oh, the ability to not drop tools while talking. <laughs> felder do some fantastic um, wide belt sanders, but, uh, but and which I am planning on getting at some point in the next uh, six months to a year. However, uh, I wanted to review this because it is almost a universal tool that guitar builders use. This brand, this model from this company. I actually don't know of any others uh, in Europe that offer anything that compares. Uh, this is wide enough for guitar building, whereas planar thicknesses tend not to be, especially ones that you can have in your home. They tend to be 12 inches and most guitars are about 13.1. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can use this to, for refinishing and stripping down finish for fine sanding, for even some basic thicknessing. If you've got a single piece body, you can put coarser paper on here. It's gonna take you a lot longer than using a 420 mil, 410 mil wide planar thicknesser, but it is a relatively inexpensive inexpensive option for the hobbyist or home builder, uh, which is why I've bought one, because I, I wanted to see if it was actually worth having or not. Now, I'm going to run a few more pieces of wood through it, and then I'll give you my conclusion. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, turn the power back on. And the paper didn't immediately disintegrate. Oh, extraction. Daniel, would you mind? The tractor was on, but uh, my blast gate was shut. Did you hear that? Part of the feed table is slightly raised on the corner, and the sandpaper just hit that. And there.
These are coming out very thin now. I... I stopped at about three and a half millimeters. The, uh, the belt, the feed, the feed belt ha is slightly deformed just at the edges. It's just kicking up and hitting the, uh, the sandpaper in places as you get to that thickness. Uh, I suppose you could go right down to very, very thin veneers, but uh, you would probably need to mount it on a backing board of sorts. Check out our video on the greatest luthiers trick ever. Uh, the masking tape trick is phenomenal and is something that you could use to do that. This machine is perfect for acoustic guitar tops, backs and sides, where you need to uniformly thickness something. Doing that by hand with a plane, while fun for the first set after three or four or a decade or more, it can get a little bit old. Um, I think the difference between professional guitar builders and hobbyists is the fact that professionals know uh, they're prepared to spend the money to get something to save a lot of time. And this machine is something that is going to save us a lot of time. And also, it's, it's nice and precise. That is absolutely perfectly parallel. It is wonderfully thin. I'm not sure what we're, going, what we're going to use this for. It was supposed to be 4 mil or so, but uh, I got a little bit carried away. Uh, and I can't argue with it. You are going to, in the long run, spend more on sandpaper than you will on the entire machine. That is the way th these things go. Uh, good quality sandpaper is absolutely essential. Do not skimp on the, on the paper. Don't skimp on your sandpaper. Uh, don't skimp on extraction either. The machine itself is really solid, as I've, as I've said before. It does come with little tensioners on here so we can tension the belt and hopefully with a little bit of playing we might even be able to get rid of those um, little bits that, on the edge here that are sitting up. I am not happy with the size of that motor. It just sounds, sounds cheap to me. And the fact that this table is very, very lightweight, the fact that lifting it out of the box has deformed the spindle. Frankly, I'm wondering if the spindle actually came already off because it, there's just nothing to it. There's no weight. Plus there was no warning inside of the box, which is the first box we opened saying, don't pick this up by, by this housing. So I'm, I'm you know, a little bit unimpressed with that. Um, but other than that, look, it's a solid, solid machine. Bit plasticky in one particular place. Everything else seems to be solid. Jet have got a very, very good reputation. I love the look of their new bandsaws. Uh, their new bandsaw has a, where you feed the blade in is on the side, instead of at the front, uh, which then needs, uh, on a normal bandsaw, you put the blade in from the front and you then need to l level the two halves of the table. On the new Jet bandsaws, you feed it in from the side and the front of your table is solid and flat and square. It's just really clever. So uh, who knows, maybe we'll get one of those at some point. Although, ha, my hammer bandsaw is beautiful and will be showing up. We'll be showing up at a weekend workshop very soon. Uh, okay, if you are a guitar builder, if you are a hobby guitar builder, if you build more than if you want to build more than half a dozen or so instruments, especially acoustics, this is the machine for you. It is very, 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 very good value for money. It's three or four thousand pounds cheaper than an industrial machine and doesn't require three phase. It's a small enough form factor that you can have it in a one car, two car garage and be fine with it. It is solidly built. Uh, some of the materials are slightly cheaper. That motor is a little bit cheap. This is a little bit plasticky, you know. But while I am not 100% in love with it, I am definitely going to enjoy using it and it is definitely going to be of use. Uh, the, only, the only way to go any better is actually for me to upgrade to a, a multi-thousand pound machine. 
and I'm not going to do that. Uh, not, not, not this month. Uh, the other thing is, I suppose, you can, you've got 100 mil of travel, so you can put really thick pieces of wood through it. Uh, there are extras that you can get. You can get outfeed tables and uh, other bits and pieces. It's, you know, I'm leaning on it and sort of going, oh, is that going to, you know, it is a solid, stable machine, and I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very, very much for watching. If, if you've liked this, if this has been useful, please click like, please click subscribe. Check out all of our other uh, videos. We build, we build guitars, we teach you how to build guitars, we make guitar building tools. And uh, every weekend I will look at a new machine or a tool or a chisel or some sandpaper or... Sandpaper, that sounds boring, doesn't it? Seriously. Abrasive technologies are mind-blowingly interesting when you get into this. Anyway, so check it all out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great, have a great weekend. We will be back soon. Cheers.